Hello, my name is Sarah Courtney and I'd like to introduce you to the EDC subject 1200 at the University of Southern Queensland. The key issue I'd like to address in this presentation is our classroom differences that mediate dominance. With this in mind, I wanted to capture the differences related to gender issues that arise in a classroom and that mediate dominance. I'd like to concentrate on the diversity of gender in the classroom. As teachers, we shouldn't put our heads in the sand and be ignorant to any differences. We need to acknowledge differences in order to mould our classes' strengths and weaknesses. In Australia, gender is a delicate issue. Today, women are seen as equal as men. Yet the Australian government seems to think that females are not worth paying as much as males. As a teacher, I feel as though I want to treat my children as equals. But it's just not possible. As much as I can encourage male activities in the classroom, I may then overdo it and forget my feminine side. Or I could be too feminine and boys may not get involved in my activities because of this. Therefore, as a woman, it's a fine line between being judged as feminine or trying to cheat, treat every child as equal in my class. It's even fair to say it's not possible to teach equally when you're either male or female. There is a chance that in some lessons I won't even notice whether I've said or done something feminine. This issue is relevant to the whole national community of teachers, staff, parents and children. As teachers, we want what's best for the developing child in our care. And in some ways, we will influence each child with our gender, no matter how or what our good intentions are. I was just getting into that. Hello? Hey Mum. How are ya? Yeah, good. Busy, but good. Uh, I'm trying to work out a curriculum for my grade fours that will teach gender differences that mediate dominance. Yeah. Because I was thinking of putting like kids in groups of four, like mixed gender groups and then asking them to each write a pro and con about their own gender. And after that group time, they could present it to the class of their own opinions. Then I could try and repeat why it's okay to be different. What's that, a drama game? So each child has to act out a stereotype of the opposite gender. That's a really good idea. Gets them all involved. Be funny. I might use that. Thank you, Mum. Ta. -da. Well, after the activities, I was thinking it's probably best to talk to the class about why society has stereotypes of gender roles. Get the children thinking about why we all place these roles on different genders and what we could do to prevent stereotypes. Yeah, well, it has the potential like for the discussion for each individual. Um, the implications of how critical thinking about their own gender and opposite of their opposite sex. Yeah, it just allows each child to develop self-awareness about their own gender. As an educator, the activities in relation to gender could help children acknowledge and overcome disadvantages within the community. It's just like planting a seed in each child, you just gotta watch it grow. Yeah. Anyways, after all the activities and critical thinking, it would probably help the class understand discrimination between gender and why it's unacceptable. But also, it could help the class accept each other for being different. Yeah. I mean, I've said to them before, being different isn't something children or adults, for that matter, should fear. Different is different. And it's not a bad thing. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, we need to acknowledge difference in our classroom in order to grow and accept others. I'm not talking about tolerance. No, no, I'm not talking about tolerance. I'm talking about acceptance for each individual. Yeah, well, no matter if it's in a classroom, community or church, it doesn't matter. I think I will try and play that drama game because it takes a sensitive side out of the problem in society. So uh, it'll just allow me to break down the issue and make it an educative experience. Also, I'll have to try and make it a point that no gender is better than the other. That's right. It's just simply that we need to work collectively together in order to grow and develop. Yeah. Thanks for the idea, Mum. That was great. Yep. Okay, love you too. Bye bye. <sighs> That's a good idea. Better get to it. <laughs>